we've um, we've been here before. Um, uh, you and Steve obviously taking uh, the side on Monday. Um, give us a bit of a flavour of, of how the week's been and, and how preparations have gone ahead of Monday, if you could. Yeah, um, boys were off yesterday, so we've strained today. Um, high tempo session, working towards Crawley. A um, few familiar faces in the Crawley dugout, which will be exciting, but... Um, Hoping for a um, positive result of the weekend. Well, bank holiday in it, so, yeah. Um, for yourself as well, obviously, you've, you've stepped up uh, earlier on in the season. How much of a challenge is it for yourself as well to, to be in this situation again? And obviously, just the one game left to go, but in the hot seat and, and taking the boys forward. No, this is good. This is what I want. The, the, the pressure of being like manager, head coach, whatever you call it. This is, this is what, what I'm here for. This is what me going forward looks like, so... I'm just excited and gonna put leave no stone and turn um, bring a high tempo game and hopefully win again. Um, obviously, we haven't trained too much. It's been a case of sort of balancing the rest with with training. What, what's the mood like in in the camp at the moment amongst the uh, amongst the players? Listen, obviously, it's never good when someone loses their job. Some players will be happy. Some players won't. It depends if you're playing. If you're not, do you like the old gaffer? Do you not? It's just it's one of them. It's it's a toss of the coin. So. Some players will be really happy, some won't. It's just it's football, it just it just keeps going on. Um, without giving too much away about your game plan, have, have you and Mildy had a chance to sort of instil your own sort of thoughts on the game? Will we see a lot of change? What what's the sort of deal with that? Yeah, no, there'll, there'll definitely be change. It'll be how how I we as a team see it, how we can, how we can punish their weaknesses, how we can nullify their strengths and just really, really high tempo. Hopefully the big crowd come. I know the fans will get behind us. Um, and then just a positive result to finish this season and go towards ne <coughs> next season. Listen, no one obviously <laughs> thought we were going to be in this situation of 10th in the league. We were 4th, 5th, come midway through looking at automatic. So it's been, um, it's not been what we wanted, but listen, it's a good squad of players and going forward next season, you never know what can happen. Um, Crawley, it'll be a bit of a strange day, won't it? Because neither ourselves or Crawley have a great deal to play for. However, it marks the return of a, a former manager and a few former players, as you touched upon there. Um, it will be a little bit surreal, I guess. How much are you sort of looking forward to seeing Scott, the, the former players, and what sort of game are you expecting? Yeah, no, there's loads to play for. Every game, every professional game that you play, you should be willing to put put everything on the line for it to get that result. Three points matter at the end of the day because it's your springboard going forward. What where do you want to be? Where do where do you want to take the club to? Where are we going? That's that'll be it. And for Scott and that coming back, yeah, it'll be great. Um, we'll have a beer in that after with them. But listen, it's professional. We want to beat them. That's the end of it. And I guess it adds a little bit more extra spice to to the game. Is is it something that the players are also looking forward to featuring in as well? Yeah, so they've got a few that used to be here, the Conroy, Grant, obviously Ben Gladwin. Um, so it's, them, them boys should be looking forward to coming back playing here. Um, hopefully take away no points from us. and That's all it can be, really. You, you've got you've to gotta take, take all the emotion out of the game and just treat it for what it is. It's there, three points, get the win. That's all that matters. Um, and is it an opportunity to make a statement? It's not been the best season for us or the season that we'd hopefully well we we planned for but last game of the season a big crowd potentially lots on the game from a perspective of Scott and, and former players returning what what sort of uh, atmosphere and, and and is this a chance for players to really show what they've got in the last game of the season yeah listen it'll be like last time we took it it'll be it'll be game plan everything the the picture will be there for the players given to them and as I said before, they've got to fill it in. It's got to be them who take control sometimes of the situation. Listen, it can't be so mechanical where it's every every action you're saying, do this, do that. They've got to see the picture and they can do that as well. Some of our really good players for the level. Um, yeah. Um, last time you were in charge, uh, we had a 5-0 win and a 3-0 draw. Certainly goals. Um, are you sort of saying to the lads, let's go at them, let's, let's just attack um, and basically just put in a good performance to get a good result, but, but don't be afraid out there? Mm, yeah, listen, the, oh, we'll be a quick, quick transition team. We've got some really dynamic players in our team and we'll just be looking to hurt them straight away. Um, and 
are we likely to see potentially any younger players coming in potentially to feature or is, is that obviously you can't give too much away at the moment but um, is there scope for potentially a Jackson Brown or another younger player to come through? Yeah, possibly. That's it. Obviously, it's it's early on. We don't know what's going to happen with the squad. Who's going to be available? So we'll say. Listen, last time I think we gave we have a couple of debuts out. So hopefully we can do the same. And just finally, um, say a, a big crowd is expected on uh, on Monday. How important is it to put in a good performance and, and get a result on the final day of the season, just for them and, and get them behind us still. Yeah, class for the fans. I mean, home and away, the fans have followed us even when we when we've been rubbish because we have we've been rubbish for a while. We haven't we haven't performed like we should have, and that's unfortunate. It happens in football where sometimes it just doesn't align for you, and the performances just they aren't there. The results don't come, and at the end of the season, that's where where you end up is where you should be. There's no there's no getting away from it. It's it's simple.